Hi folks, I'm Dr. Adesh Anaparedi. I'm an orthopedic and joint replacement surgeon at Sunshine Hospitals. I specialize in total knee, partial knee and total hip replacement surgeries. Uh, today I'll be speaking about a partial knee replacement post-operative care. So after the surgery is done, what are all the things that you have to look after? The surgery itself takes around one to one and a half hours. And uh, after the surgery is done, the patient has to be admitted for a day. And in that day, we will teach them how to walk, how to climb stairs and how to do the bending movements and how to improve the strength of the muscles. Once the patient is discharged, we arrange for a physiotherapist to come home and uh, do some supervised physiotherapy for at least a month. And uh, the stitches get removed after two weeks. And usually, and we give a pa the patient a walker to walk with for the first couple of weeks. Usually by day 10 to day 14, the patient is comfortable to walk even without a walker and they're usually running by around the uh, third week. So there will be a little bit of pain. It will not be as much as the pain before the surgery. That's only the surgical pain and for which we will be giving some medicines. We'll be give some painkillers. We'll also give a, a tablet to reduce the swelling as well. Ice packs definitely help. They reduce the swelling as well as the pain. And even that pain reduces on a day-to-day -day basis by around 15 to 20 percent. So usually within a week, the patient is quite comfortable. A very frequently asked question to me is about the diet. So a lot of patients who come from the villages, they still have a few superstitions and few misconceptions that uh, after a surgery, if you eat dal or if you eat dahi, curds or dal, uh, this may cause infections at the joint. It's not true at all. You can have anything. Any diet is okay as long as it's not. If you're not di if you're diabetic, don't take carbohydrates or sweets. If you are hypertensive, don't take too much of salt. But there's nothing really connected to the knee joint per se. So you can take a re regular diet as as you wish. So it's imperative. It's it's very important that the patient make sure that they don't fall. One, the, so you can prepare your home before you come to the surgery itself. Make sure there are no loose rugs or loose carpets around. Try to make sure there are no low-lying tables or low, uh, any kind of thing which a patient may trip over. Because a patient trips post-surgery, there may be fractures and we may have to reoperate the patient. So that's one thing you have to be very careful about. And uh, try not, if possible for the first 10 days, wear gowns which are not going below the ankle. So you may trip over your own gown also. So be careful about that. And about follow-ups, it's very important that a patient keeps following up with us because once the surgery is done, doesn't mean that the, the, the whole procedure is over. It's not like that. The patient and the doctor are associated with each other for many years after that. Uh, but the first two weeks is when the patient comes to get the sutures removed. And the first month after the surgery, they should come for one single follow-up where we get an x-ray done to check how the joint is doing from the immediate post-op period. And after that, after the first month is over, we usually check the patient on once every three months or once every six months. And after the first year is over, once a year, just to check how the joint is doing. So a very commonly asked question to me by my partial knee replacement patients is, uh, once we replace the half of the joint, so we've replaced the half of the joint, what happens to the other side? Does this also progress to an arthritis? So do we have to convert it to a total knee replacement? And how long does this partial knee replacement last? Now, the answer to this question is, these implants usually last for at least 15 to 20 years. If you do your exercise as well, it can last even longer than that. And uh, to answer the question about the outer side of the joint, whether it wears out or not. So as I said, the partial knee replacement can be done only if the inner joint is affected and the outer joint isn't. But 95% of the patients who have gotten a partial knee replacement done, the outer side of the joint does not get arthritic. So it does not require conversion to a total knee replacement. But the 5% of patients who do develop a lateral arthritis, the 5% of patients, you can always convert the partial knee replacement to a total knee replacement at a later stage. So it's nothing to worry about.